Okay, I'm going to show you how to carry a lot of heavy camera gear and do it for hours without a lot of strain. This is not the way to do it. This puts a lot of strain on my neck. This puts strain on my shoulders. I can't get to the gear very easily in any of these solutions. So I'm going to show you the right way to do it. Now, this rig here is from Newswear.com, Newswear.com, and I can carry a lot of gear with this. I have a 70 to 200 millimeter lens in here with the shroud on it. Get quick access to that. I have an SB900 flash in its case here. And then in some of these other compartments, I have a 50 millimeter lens, I have a 2x converter, I have other gear in here. And this is all very comfortable. The weight is pretty much straight down. I've got some of the weight on my hips and a lot of the weight on the shoulders, but it's pretty much straight down, so it's pretty comfortable. Now, I've got my SLR right here, so I can swing that up and I can shoot any which way I want. And again, this weight is pretty much straight down, and is, so it's not pulling on my neck like a typical neck strap. So I can cover an event. I've got access to a lot of gear pretty quickly. I can, of course, shoot, do what I need to do. I even carry a point and shoot usually in this little pouch here. I can carry a small video camera with me. The video camera I'm shooting this with, a little Canon. So I can carry all the gear I need really to cover an event with this setup right here. Now I'm going to show you another option. So now let's say that I'm covering an event and I don't want to travel with quite as much gear, but I want to have my 24 to 70 lens here and I want to have my 70. The 210 lens handy. So I can I can go with a rig like this and I have quick access to most of the range that I need. I can go anywhere from 24 millimeter to 200 millimeter here with the, just these two lenses. And this is a pretty comfortable setup. I've got what's called a spider holster here where I'm parking this which all the way to this heavy digital SLR with the pro glass on it, all the weight is on my hips here and it's kind of straight down. Comfortable. I can go all day long like this. There's no, no stress on my shoulders. This one lens in this bag offers very little stress on my shoulders. So right now this feels very light to me even though this is a heavy lens. It's just one lens. So if I want to go with just two lenses and the camera body, so in other words I'm traveling relatively light, I can go with this setup and it seems to work pretty good for me. Now sometimes I'll go to an event and all I'll need is the 24 to 70 lens, that's all the coverage I need, so I don't need this bag with me at all. So I can just go with the spider holster and with this rig. Now the spider holster, I can use it without this strap. I just kind of use this strap as a safety in case I drop the camera. But you don't need this strap at all. You can park it in the spider holster, it's very good, it's very secure, and you can take it out and shoot, boom, boom, and some people call this shooting naked where you don't have any strap on it at all. But just for safety reasons, I usually like to uh, keep this strap on. This is made out of a dog leash, by the way. I just kind of keep that strap on there just as added safety. In case I'm bringing it out, it slips out of my hand or whatever, it's never going to hit the ground. So there we go. You ready to shoot away and be relatively comfortable all day long, even though this is a heavy digital SLR combination with this Pro Glass on it. This thing's pretty heavy. Craigship.com. Learn a lot more.